Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today we're going to make some bats. Look how cute they are. So let's grab our supplies and head over to the craft table and make up some cute bats. Their wings open. Yay. Okay, to make the bat, you're going to need yarn for the body. You can use two shades if you want to use a different color for the feet, but you don't have to do that. You can just use one. Today I'm using Big Twist Posh in black and glow warm. You need black and white to embroider their eyes if you're going to embroider them. If not, you can use safety eyes. Black and white and worsted weight to embroider the mouth and the fangs. Scissors, a yarn needle, stitch marker, and a hook. Today, because I'm using um, Big Twist Posh, it's kind of a smaller yarn. I'm using a 5mm H hook, but you can use whichever hook with your tension for the yarn that you're using. If you're using a smaller yarn, you're going to want to use a smaller hook. If you're using a big jumbo yarn, you're going to want to use a bigger hook. And of course, your tension does play factor into that, so you have to figure that out <laughs> on your own. But anyways, let's get into it. Alright, to start, you can use your chain 2 method or you can use the magic ring, magic circle. Uh, I typically use the chain 2 method with yarns like this that tend to break if you pull on it too tightly. So that's what I'm going to use today, but if you want to use the magic ring, go for it. So I'm going to put 8 single crochet into my second chain here. If you're using magic ring, put 8 single crochet into your magic ring. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. For round 2, we're going to increase all the way around for a total of 16 stitches. So you're just going to put 2 single crochet in each stitch. We'll start with this first one here. 1 single crochet, 2. That's our increase. Now I'm going to put my stitch marker in that first one I made. So now we're going to do another increase in this stitch. Three, four, increase in the next stitch. We're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 16 stitches. Okay, for round three, we're going to do one single crochet and then one increase. So let's start with our first in our single crochet. <laughs> so we did one single crochet in that one. Now in the next stitch, we're going to increase. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet. The next stitch, we're going to increase. We're going to keep repeating that one single crochet, increase, one single crochet, increase all the way around. At the end of round three, you'll have 24 stitches. For round four, we're going to increase uh, the way we've been doing, but we're going to break it up a little bit just to give it a rounder shape. So on the first stitch, we're going to single crochet. In the next stitch we're going to increase and then our repeat for the rest of the round to the last stitch is going to be single crochet single crochet increase single crochet single crochet increase all the way around till you have one stitch left so you'll be going one single in the next stitch one single in the third stitch you're going to increase and then one single one single in the third stitch increase we're going to repeat that all the way around to our last stitch and then that'll be just a single crochet okay here at the end of round four i did my repeat of single single increase single single increase and now i have one stitch left so i'm just going to put one single crochet into that last stitch so at the end of round four you'll have 32 stitches so now into round five is when we're going to be doing the feet so first in your body color, if you're going to do different colors, single crochet 10, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the tenth stitch, we're not going to finish it all the way. Let me set this down. This, if you're going to change color for the feet, this is when you would bring that color over. So I am going to change to black for my feet. Just to make them stand out a little bit more. So now that last stitch, we're going to finish it with black. And then just hold your black tail and your green or whatever body color yarn down. Now we're going to do three bubbles in the next three stitches. So one bubble, one bubble, one bubble for a total of three. So on the first stitch, you're going to yarn over. Go into the first, the next uh, single crochet, yarn over and pull through, 
yarn over and pull through. You'll have two loops. We're going to do that again. Yarn over. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Got three loops. Yarn over, go in again. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. You have four loops. We're going to do it one more time. Yarn over, go in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. So now you have five loops on your hook. So you yarn over and pull through all five of those. That's your first bobble. And now to get to the next part, you might have to squish your bobble over to get that next stitch where you can see it good. So we're going to make another bobble in there. So let's just start it. Yarn over, go in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. You have two loops. Do that again. So yarn over, go in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. You have three loops. Yarn over, go in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. You have four loops. Last time. Yarn over, go in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. You have five loops. So yarn over and pull through all five. Now it's alright if your bubbles kind of get pushed to the back. We'll pop them out in a minute. Okay, so that was the second bubble. So now we're going to make our third bubble into this next stitch here. So we're going to do that all over again. <laughs> yarn over, go through. Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go through. Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over, go through two. You have three loops. Yarn over, go in. Pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. One more time. Yarn over, go in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. You have five loops. Yarn over, wait. No, right there. I almost caught myself. <laughs> Before you finish this last bobble, we're going to be switching back to our body color. <laughs> so yarn over with it. And pull through those last five loops and then you can push your bubbles through or you can wait till you get another round done just to make it this this runs kind of tight because of the feet but uh, so now just leave your black yarn or your feet color yarn attached because we're going to use it again in just a moment so now we're going to single crochet six you have to push your last bubble kind of over to expose your next stitch so we're going to make just regular single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And we're not going to finish the sixth one. We're going to pull back up our feet color to finish that stitch. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for this foot as we did with this foot over here. So we're going to do one, two, three, bobble, bobble, bobble. So let's yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's two. Yarn over, oops, I forgot to even say what I was doing. <laughs> yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three loops. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. So you have four loops. One more time, yarn over, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, you have five loops so yarn over and go through all five kind of pull that aside so you can see that stitch well yarn over go through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two three yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so you have four one more yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two you have five so yarn over and pull through all five one more bubble yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two one more time yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two you'll have five drop your black or whatever you're using for your fit color Pick up your body color and finish that last stitch. Yarn over and pull through all five. All right, so right here I am going to snip my black yarn. Try to. That's all you need of that. Just a little bit. And I do like to tie my two black yarns together. Not tightly, but just where they're secure to each other. Okay. So at this point... I'm going to go ahead and finish this row and then I'll work on fixing the toes. So this last one you might have to kind of pull it over a little bit to get access to your first stitch. We're going to single crochet 10. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pull that up a little bit. So let's just kind of go down here and make sure our toes are poking out the way they're supposed to. Just push in with your finger from behind. And there's his little feet. It'll look better once there's more body. <laughs> All right, so that was the end of round five. You should have 32 stitches because it's 10 and then three bubble, six, three bubbles, and 10. So that's still 32 stitches. It's just some of them poke out. <laughs> So now for around six, seven, and eight, we're just going to single crochet solidly. So let me get you started here. So there's one right there. We're going to do 10 real quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're at the bubbles. You just put one single crochet in each of the tops of the bubbles. So right here's one. One. Right here's the other one. Two. And right here is the third one. And then this is the next stitch. There should be six of these right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're back at the bubbles. So here's one, oops, one, two, three, and then there'll be ten at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that was round six. So now we're going to do two more rounds, seven and eight, of single crochet all the way around. I'll meet you back at the end of round eight. Okay, I just finished round eight. So we did six, seven, and eight, three rounds of just solid single crochet. So now round nine, we're going to do some decreasing. So first, we're going to do one single crochet. And then we're going to decrease. If you don't know how to do that, go in. The first stitch, I go through the first or uh, the front loops only. Yarn over and pull through. Then go into the next stitch, first uh, front loop. Yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three of those. So that was taking two stitches and making one out of those two. And then the repeat is going to be single, single, decrease. So we're going to do one single, two single, and then another decrease. One single, one single. And another decrease we're going to repeat that all the way around to the last stitch there'll be one left so let's just repeat that single single decrease single single decrease all the way to the last stitch okay i just did single single decrease all the way around to my last stitch around nine so i'm going to single crochet that all right so at the end of round nine you'll have 24 stitches so now for rounds 10 and 11 we're just going to single crochet all the way around so it's going to be two rows of solid single crochet I just finished round 10, so I did, or 11, I mean. So I did two rows, 10 and 11, as solid single crochets. So you have 24 stitches still at the end of 11. So now round 12, we're going to do one single crochet and then one decrease all the way around. So that was my one single crochet, and I'm going to decrease. Then in the next stitch, I'm going to single crochet and then decrease. And then single crochet, decrease. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. At the end of round 12, you have 16 stitches. All right, so now for round uh, 13, we're going to single crochet increase all the way around. So on each stitch, we're going to increase. One, two, so that means put two stitches in each stitch <laughs> around. So you're going to be going from 16 stitches to 32 at the end of round 13. So I just did one increase. So the next stitch I'm going to increase. The next stitch I'm going to increase. I'm just going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 32 stitches. All right, here I am at the end of round 13. I just increased all the way around. So I have 32 stitches. So now for rounds 14, 15, and 16 for three rounds, we're going to single crochet all the way around. Okay, here we are so far at the end of round 16. So we've 
made the body we decreased a little and we're increasing the head now and right here is where i like to stop to stuff the body so i'm going to get some stuff in and we're going to stuff our body <laughs> okay so the way i like to stuff is get a glob of stuffing <laughs> and stick it in there and when you get it in there you kind of go down to the middle and push out to the sides then you make more stuffing and you do something down to the middle and push out to the sides. And I'm going to get some more. Keep doing that until it's as firm as I want it to be. On this particular amigurumi, he's meant to have a flattish bottom. So you stuff to, you know, make it flat. You don't want to stuff it too much because then you're... Your yarn will kind of separate and you can see the stuffing through the body. Or if your tension is kind of off, you can also see the stuff. And I think that's pretty good for his body. So I'm going to stop right there just so I don't accidentally catch it with my hook a lot. And I will stuff the head once we get more of it made. Alright, let's continue on crocheting. So we just finished round 16, so now we're going on to 17 and it is a decrease round. So we're going to do one single crochet. My stitch marker back and then we're gonna decrease and then our repeat is gonna be single single decrease single single decrease so you do two single crochets and then a decrease two single crochets and a decrease you repeat that all the way around to the last stitch you'll have one stitch left Okay, here we are back at the end of round 17 with one um, stitch left. Let's go ahead and single crochet that. So now for round 18 and 19, two, two rounds, we're going to single crochet all the way around. So you just put one single crochet in each stitch around for rows 18 and 19. And then I'll meet you back at the beginning of round 20. Okay, so we just finished up round 19. This is the head so far. Right here is a good place to put in safety eyes if you're using them. So the place that I think would be good, but you know, obviously it's up to your own judgment. <laughs> so we just did round 19. So this is 18, this is 17, this is 16. So I would put them between rounds 16 and 17. You can kind of use the feet as a guide. And about four to six stitches apart, depending on what size eyes you're using. These, I believe, are 20 millimeter. So I just kind of kind of use my feet as a guide of where I would want my eyes to be. Something like that. Because his head's about to close and then he'll have his big pointy ears up here. So if you, and if you wanted to move him a little bit higher, you could between around 17 and 18. That might be good. And then his little smile right there. But I'll just use his feet as a guide. And um, when I get to the point where I'm doing his ears and stuff, I will use his ears and his feet as a guide to do the embroidered eyes. But if you're using safety eyes, I would go down from... Between rows 16 and 18 probably somewhere. So between 16 and 17 or 17 and 18. And about 4 to 6 stitches apart depending on the size of the eyes. Or if you want them to be closer together or further apart. You could also use that same thing if you're using felt eyes. I think I got some here. These these don't go at all because they're pink. <laughs> but you know in the same kind of spot. But that's just placement for safety eyes if you're using those. If not, we're going to continue on. First, we're going to add some stuff into his head. We're going to stuff it pretty much all the way. But at the very end, we'll add some more. So I do the same method where I, I put the stuff in and then I go in the middle and kind of push out to the sides. Which creates a hole for you to put more stuff in and do that again. Just until you're happy with the amount of stuff that's in there. The you know firmness and the way the outside looks. So I'm going to stop right there. I will add more stuff in at the very top. So now we're going to move on to round 20. And this is a decrease round. So for this round, we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease. So we'll start with one single crochet. And one decrease. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet. One decrease. All the way around to the end and it'll be a total of 16 stitches for round 21 we're just gonna do eight decreases all the way around 
what I like to do because I want to finish off stuffing is I will do a couple decreases so there's one I'm gonna put my stitch marker just so I don't lose my place Two, three, four. Okay, so that's halfway decreased. Do four, and so there's still a lot of space in there. So I'm gonna want to fill that space with <laughs> uh, polyfill, and it's easier when the hole is a little bit bigger. So we're gonna fill his brains in. Okay, so I did four decreases, and so I need to do four more to finish up this round. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay, so his body is done. So we're going to snip. I'm going to leave a bit of a tail so I can close up this hoe up here. Alright, if you feel there needs to be more stuffing up there, by all means, add more. And if not, we're going to close them up. Alright, the way I like to close up is the stitches are right there. I like to go through just one loop of the stitch. And with this yarn that's a little bit more fragile, I kind of pull it taut and hold it with my other fingers. So that it's kind of tight the whole time and not just at the end. With acrylic yarn you can wait to the end and pull it and it's pretty strong so you can just cinch the whole clothes. But with these Chanel types and uh, stuff like that it, they tend to break. So I just do that all the way around and then I kind of just go through a few different spots. Oops, I lost my tail there. If there's any, if I accidentally created any holes I try to close them up. And then this tail, I'm just going to stick it out the back of his head and leave it there. I will tie it off to one of the ears. In a moment. Alright, so there's his body. That's what his body looks like. So now let's go make the ears and the wings and sew them on. And then we'll do the face and we'll be done. Okay, let's make the ears. They're simple. You make two of them. So repeat these steps twice. <laughs> so first we're going to start with four single crochet either in a chain two or a magic ring whichever is your preference so we're going to do one two three four i sometimes don't use a stitch marker for little pieces like this because i can just keep up the count in my head <laughs> all right for round two of the ear we're going to do one single crochet increase twice, so we'll end up with six stitches. So we'll do one single crochet and then one increase. And I'm going to turn my ear out real quick. And then the next stitch, whoops, trying to get it to poke out there. In the next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet. And then the last one, we're going to increase. If I can grab it, there we go. All right, so we have six stitches now. In row three, we're going to do one single crochet, one single crochet increase. So we're going to do one single, one single increase, one single, one single increase. That's a total of eight stitches. In round four, we're going to do three single crochets increase twice so here's one two three increase and then one two three increase that's a total of ten stitches now we're just going to single crochet solidly around ten so whoops a tail <laughs> one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. So now with 
this tail I'm just gonna stick it in there <laughs> if you have a magic ring you should weave that in but I did chain two so I don't need to all right with this our working stitch kind of off to the side we're gonna fold it closed and we're gonna single crochet single crochet <laughs> through both layers four times so there's one two three four all right so there's our first ear so leave a decent tail it doesn't have to be crazy long but just long enough that you can sew it onto the head so there's one ear so now we're going to repeat all that again to make the second ear okay last pieces is the wings now you're going to be making two wings and you're going to do them exactly the same up until after round 12. so when we get to that or not round row <laughs> Uh, when we get to that for the second wing i will mention what you're going to do different so first you're going to start with a chain six one two three four five six and then we're going to single crochet five down the chain so you start in the second chain from the hook one two three four five okay so for the second row you're gonna chain one and turn we're gonna single crochet four one two three four and in the last single crochet we're gonna increase then we're gonna chain one and turn this time we're going to single crochet solid, so six all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Round five, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to single crochet five. One, two, three, four, five. In the last uh, single crochet, we're going to increase, so that'd be six and seven. Then we're going to chain one and turn. Then we're going to single crochet solid, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to chain one and turn. We're going to single crochet six, one two three four five six and the last one we're going to increase seven eight all right row seven chain one turn single crochet all eight one two three four five six seven eight okay so now for round eight we're going to start decreasing so chain one turn we're going to single crochet six one two three four five six and then in the last two single crochets we're going to decrease then we're going to chain one and turn round nine we're gonna single crochet all seven one two three four five six seven chain one turn round ten we're gonna single crochet uh <laughs> single crochet five one two three four Five, and the last two we're going to decrease chain one and turn row um, row 11 we're going to single crochet six one two three four five six chain one turn row 12 we're going to single crochet four two three four and we're going to decrease in the last two okay so this is the first wing 
we're going to stop right here going back and forth in rows and now we're going to go around the whole thing to finish off the wing so for the first wing only the next the second wing's going to be done a little differently at this part we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to slip stitch into this first uh chain down here at the bottom so just make a slip stitch and then in between here and here we're going to single crochet about six. Sometimes six will fit, sometimes five will fit. It doesn't really matter as long as they're even. <laughs> so here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So then right here, we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And we're going to slip stitch again in this first stitch down here, or first chain, sorry. And then in between here and here, we're going to single crochet roughly six again. So it's okay if it's not perfect. Don't worry about that. One, two, three, four, five. So that time five fit there for me. So now we're going to chain up three again. One, two, three. And we're going to slip stitch in this first one again. Okay, and now at this side, we're going to single crochet about five. Again, they may not all fit, or you might have six. It's okay. It depends on your tension. One, two, three, four, and five. And then for the last bit up across the top, it's going to be roughly 12, 11, 12 stitches all the way across to this corner. And again, it's okay if it's off a couple or on a couple. It depends on your tension. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and then this first single crochet right here we're going to slip stitch into that okay so there's your first wing leave a tail to sew onto the body and this end right here we'll weave in back here in a minute so now for the second wing we're going to repeat all the round the rows right here 1 through 12 but when we do the finishing part we're going to do it a little bit differently so let's go ahead and make that second wing and i'll meet you back at the going around part okay so i just finished my second wing the first wing we chained up and started working that way for this one we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to single crochet five so one two three four five and then we're going to do roughly 11 or 12 stitches across the top again it doesn't matter if you're accurate as long as it's not super tight or super loose just be even so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we're going to do f about five down the side. So one, two, three, four, and then right here is where we're going to do the picots. So right here we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. Slip stitch into that first chain. And then between here and this peak, we're going to do about five or six stitches, however many you can get to fit there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. And in this case, mine's probably seven this time. That's okay. See, it's fine. <laughs> so now we're going to chain up three. One, two, three three slip stitch in the first chain down here and then between this point and this point we're going to do five six or seven i guess <laughs> one two three four five six now we're going to chain up three one two three slip stitch in that first chain and then we're going to slip stitch into this first single crochet that up a little bit we're gonna leave ourselves a tail to sew onto the body all right so there are our wings 
So the purpose of doing it a slightly different is so that you have a long tail on one wing's left side and one wing's right side. Because if they both were on the same side, one wing would be backwards. And you can tell the difference. See, these are the back of the single crochets and these are the front. So that's why we do that one last bit reverse. So that both of them has the single crochets facing forward. But now that we got all of our body pieces done, let's sew them together. So my first mission is to weave in these little ends here on the back of my wings. It's my first goal. So the way I do that is I just try to go through my stitches. I usually go down this way. And then I'll go back up a little over. You just want to go through the stitches and not in front or behind them. Pull it up and snip it off. So there's that wing already. And then yeah, let's see, that's this side. That little fuzz right there. Go away. Okay, let's weave this end in. It's raining here. We're getting leftover bits of Helene. So if you hear that, that's what that is. Get in there. Alright, so our wings are ready. We got our ears ready. And our little body with the tail on the back. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the ears just because I want to. So put your ear on your needle. And this is personal preference. You can do it way off on the side or up on the top or wherever. I use the feet as kind of a guide. So, and also use the center circle up here where you closed off. I try to put, right here's the last round. So I try to get close to that above the feet. And then I just kind of go in the ear and then into the head. And we're just kind of, I think it's called whip stitching. I'm not exactly sure. It together. So go through the ear, through the head. Pull it through the ear the head pull it I just I like to put mine above the feet kind of off to the side and you just do that until you're happy with it sometimes this end will be sticking up a lot and I don't I won't like it so I will just kind of go through his head and come out over here to the side and I'll hop up and grab that part of that ear and then I'll stick it onto the body just kind of hold it down. So here's my center hole. I'm one row away, so that's, what row was that? I can't remember what the last row was. 21, so this is 21, 20, so I started at like 19. So it would be 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. So 19 to 17. And then this tail, I'm just gonna stick back in and put back here somewhere. This is the tail from closing him up. So I'm going to put that over there with this one. And then when I do the last ear, we'll come out there too and we'll tie those together. Okay, so there's one ear. So let's get the second ear. Do the same thing, but on the opposite side. <laughs> so there's row 21 and 20. So I'm going to put it. Just going to, you know, you just look and make sure they look even to you. Both above the feet. 20. 21, 20. So go through the ear and through the head. Through the ear and through the head. It's a lot easier to do this when your yarns are the same color. <laughs> it's a lot more noticeable if you're using contrast colors or like a variegated maybe. But when it's the same color like I used, it uh, doesn't really matter because you can't see where you've been sewing. Sew his ear on there. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna stick this here and then go back in and stick it out here. So I'm just gonna take these and knot them together a couple times. And then I'm gonna trim them a little bit just so they're a little bit more manageable. And then I'm gonna use a crochet hook and I like to use a soothing baits hook. This is my bag from Terry at Yarn Draw Podcast. <laughs> this is my bag of things that got chapstick and eyeballs everything got in here so i'm just going to dig around for a susan bates hook these ones because of the pointiness it helps me grab a hold of them better 
So then I'm just gonna go and go in somewhere and come out where they're at. Grab them and pull them in there. There we go. Okay. So there's his ears. Now we're gonna do the wings. Okay, the wings will be sewn on. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> will be sewed on the back and made to where they can kind of cover around him. So that's what I kind of do with them before I sew them on. Is I place them where I want them to be on his front. Like that. And then that way when I turn it over, I know where to sew it on the back. So let's just focus on one right now. So let's, I want his, his wing to rest like that, but it can also be folded out like this. I just think it's cute resting like that because, you know, bats like sleep with their wings closed. <laughs> but anyways, so we're going to just roll it around. And we're going to put our needle on. And we're going to do the exact same thing like we did with the ears, with the wings. We're going to go through the wing first. And then through the body and just grab some yarn and pull it. Then we're going to go through the wing again, grab the body, pull it through the wing, grab the body. And for the wings, I like to go down to right before this last pico. So through the wing, through the body, through the wing, through the body. And maybe one more time for good measure. Okay, so that wing is on there. So now I'm going to stick my yarn and just kind of come out right there for now. And now that's his first wing sewed on there. So now I'm going to get his second wing and do the same thing. I'm going to close them the way I want them to look when they're closed. I like it kind of above his little feet. And then it'll be laying where it needs to lay. So this will be the same, except this time I'll be going up because of where the yarn tail is resting at. So we're going to be starting around the pico, go through the wing and through the body, pull it without catching that pico. There we go. Through the wing, through the body, through the wing and through the body. Through the wing and through the body. I hit the camera, sorry about that. Through the wing, through the body. Through the wing and through the body again. In this particular case, I feel like I missed a spot up here. So I'm going to use this tail to go in over here and grab that part. I just feel like it's a little floppy. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that part down real quick. You can do that too if you need to. And then I'm going to try to get this down here at the same hole. There we go. Okay. Get it off his ear. Alright. So now I'm going to knot these two together. A few times. I usually do three. I don't know. I just feel like three is better than two. <laughs> but four is a little excessive. So. Okay. Take my pointy ear hook and go through somewhere. Okay, at this part, at this point, he's done, except his facial features. If you use safety eyes, let me grab those back, or felt eyes, I guess, but safety eyes in this case, just kind of stick them in there, you can <laughs> skip to where you embroidered the mouth, and you can also add some white or something around the eyes or some little eyelashes or something if you want to add some detail. But if you didn't do that, let's move on to the eyes. So I'll get you some black and white. Yarn. I usually use a yarn that is similar in a similar size as the body. So in this case, I'm using this is just yarn from Premier. I'm gonna snip me off a piece of black. I always start with the black and put it on my needle. I show how to do these eyes in every single tutorial I've made so far. That is an amigurumi. I also have a tutorial just for it. <laughs> I'll link it below if you want to check it out. So, okay, here's the ears, here's the feet. We're going to kind of use the ears and the feet to figure out where we want the eyes. I'm going to start off over here somewhere. And I'm going to go to, I think about right here. Pull it all the way through except a little tail. And then I'm going to go up a couple. So I'm in this row. 
his row, his row. So I'm going to go up to that one. Make a line. And now I'm just going to build that line up by, I'm going to keep going in and out the same spot, building up the shape that I want his eye to be. And I'll use my finger to kind of guide whether it goes to the right or the left to make it the shape of eye that I want. So you can just do that. Or you can glue um, felt eyes on there. Or you could have used safety eyes. Or you could crochet eyes if you're the kind of person who likes doing that. I think some ambergamies look better with embroidered eyes. Some look better with felt eyes. Some look better with safety eyes. It's just different. Okay, now I'm pretty happy with the shape of this eye. So now I'm going to go over just a few stitches and about right there maybe start the second eye and again I'm going to go up I'm just going to do the exact same thing I just did but over here just build up the eye to the shape that I like worst case scenario you don't like it you can snip it and start again or you can glue on some felt eyes or you can crochet some eyes or I've seen where some people glue Safety eyes in. I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like that's not safe. I started using embroidery eyes because I want all of my plushies to be as safe as possible for as many people as possible. I don't want a little kid to really like something and their parents not be able to buy it for them because it's got safety eyes or glued on eyes. Um, you know, cause that's, that's devastating for a little like three year old <laughs> to be told no. All right, once you're done, once you're happy with the shape of your eye, Bring your yarn back over here and we'll deal with that tail later. So there's the black of the eyes. So now I'm going to get me some white. It's the same type of yarn. It is the Premier Just Chanel. It is a size 5. And even though I'm using Posh, which are not Posh, yeah, Posh, Big Twist Posh, <laughs> it's kind of like a size 5, I think. Let's see here. So we're going to go in over here. My, that was my neighbor's dryer buzzing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Pull it through to a little tail. I'm going to bring it up over the side. Go through the top. I like to do this part like twice. I usually do it twice. Pull it kind of tight. And then the second time I'm going to come out over here on this side. Right there. Watch out for the ears. These yarn tails go away. Just use your finger to guide where you want the yarn to lay. Whoops. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side twice. You could do the glints in the eyes. Lately, I haven't been doing those. I just, you know, let's change it up every now and then. <laughs> or you could do the little, you know, line, little line. You can do little eyebrows if you want. I never do the eyebrows, mostly because I'm not good at it. <laughs> I keep I try I keep trying to do the little not eyebrows, eyelashes, and they just look bad every time, so I just give up. So I'm going to come out here. Alright, let's get these ends taken care of just so they're not in our way. And then we'll move on to the mouth and then we'll be done. So let's tie them in some knots and trim them to a manageable length. And then tuck them away. Where's my scissors at? Whoops. Got that one twice. These scrappy bits like this I save because I can use them for other things. Eyes or smiles or what have you. I have a whole box of just scrappy bits of those. Go in and grab this white. When I pull it through I kind of wiggle my hook like this just to get it detached. <laughs> we'll go through and do the black. Can. Okay, got some fuzzies. Go away, fuzzies. Alright, so there's his eyes. Mine are a little crooked, but that's alright. Give them character when they're like off looking off to the side. <laughs> I should have went over just a smidge more. But anyways, that's okay. Let's do the mouth. So for the mouth and the little teeth, you'll need worsted weight or smaller. You know, if you're using a big blanket yarn, you could use 
something a little bit bigger than worsted weight. If you're using worsted weight on your bat, you could either untwist the ply. See, there's four plies there. And you could use it, or you could just get some embroidery floss. Or you could use a felt smile, or no smile at all. Okay, now this is the part that I'm the worst at, so we're going to go in over here. For their smiles, I kind of like to keep it in this area. So I usually go up to really close to the eye. Again, pull it mostly through. And then I kind of go at an angle and down. I'm going to come back up, up here by this eye. This one's, this one's eyes are close together. <laughs> so it might be a little difficult for me to get his smile to look really good. Got down to here. Oh lord, I'm going to have to do this one again. Like I said, I'm not the best at embroidering the smiles. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to pull it all the way through. Okay, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. We're going to go with it because it's handcrafted. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to look machine made. Alright, so now we're going to grab some white. You could also do a little cheeks if you wanted. And if you wanted to make it more girly, you could put a little bow up here. That would be cute. Or maybe like a little pumpkin or something. Alright, for the fangs, again, I'm not the greatest at embroidering. <laughs> I tried to go to where the mouth is right here. Where the corner meets, where I went down and over. Come through. And I just kind of... I'm having a hard job. It's hard to record this. I try to just kind of go through it a couple of times. To give the illusion of something being there. <laughs> and then I come out over here on the second side. Oh gosh, I'm having a hard time today. Whoops, I pulled that in too far. Wait, oops, I pulled that. Um, this probably isn't the best way to do this for you guys. Anyways, you just want to look little fangs. You don't want it to look like graphic fangs, obviously, if you're going to give this to a kid. But just little teeth there. There you go. <laughs> See, he's pretty cute. Alright, let's tilt these ends. Tie them together a few times. I struggle with embroidery still. I've not been doing it for too long, but I'm just trying. I'm trying to make things more safe for everybody. Uh, I would like to, you know, I, I do market, so I want everybody who comes to be able to walk away with whichever one they fell in love with. Whether it's a one-year-old baby or a hundred-year-old person who needs to be safe. Okay. Get that in there. Get that in there. Alright, there he is. He's looking off to the side, but he is still adorable. His wings open up. Or you can wrap them around. And that is the little bat. He is all done. If you have any questions or comments about this pattern, uh, I'd love to hear them. So you can either leave them in the comments below, or if you want it to be more private, uh, you can email me. My email is always down below, and so is my Instagram and my Facebook group. So you can message me also through both of those. But if you make this bat, I would love to see it. So tag me in wherever you post it, <laughs> or email it to me. And yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another tutorial. Bye, guys.